our first camping trip with our bike tent camper tent trailer thing so I put my phone in here and uh, I'll have my glasses in here I got my action camera up there we'll be ready to go monkeys coming because we've got something new to try out so all right I'm heading out before she is so all right guys I'll kick you on when I'm on the bike and I'll film with this cue the intro Okay guys, here we go. I'll get you turned around so you can see the road here in just a minute. I don't know what you're seeing right now. and I don't even know if my mic's working, but anyway, we're gonna cruise on out. I'm gonna take our time. Might get there a few minutes early, but that's all right. The trailer seems to be pulling fine, so. Yeah, we're just going to cruise. We're doing about 27 right now, 28. So it should be a fun one. I'll keep you rolling. Man, this seat makes a big difference, I'll tell you. I love this seat. I'll stop up here at the park, it's coming up, and then I'll turn you around. So you can see the ride and I'll talk to you as long as the mic's working if the mic's not working Jesus I'll speed you up and play some music so let me get you turned around here okay you should be able to see something there I don't have my glasses on so all right let's go we're heading out Monkey be there shortly. She's just finishing up a couple things. I do have the dead cat on my mic, so hopefully you guys can hear okay and not hear a lot of wind. Yeah, I cleaned these brakes, adjusted them again, and just as bad as before it worked all right for about 10 minutes and then pro progressively gotten worse again I just gotta remember when a car is coming I can't get all the way over because of my trailer so yeah but I had a company Deer Famy D-E-R-F-A-M-Y Gave me an option of a couple things if I wanted to try them out. 
One of them was a uh, stove for a hot tent, but we're in Florida, we don't really need a hot tent. But I thought about getting it anyway because sometimes we do have burn bans and you know, you can't, you're not allowed to burn on the ground. So you have to have it contained. But we got, one of them was also a choice of three different um, gazebo tents. It's a gazebo, but it's also a tent. So we're gonna try that out. They sent it to me, it got here pretty quick. It is, it's gonna be in this video, but it's also gonna be in its own video because I have to make a video for them. And that's not a problem. I'll just use the footage from this one so everyone gets to see it. I really had fun on the boat last weekend. That was a, that was a great time, man. But we're going down here at the river. I thought about bringing a boat, but then I thought, no. I was wanting to come Friday, Saturday, and leave Sunday, but Monkey said she, there was appointments on Friday for her and her mom, so I made it for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then she said, oh, the appointment's not till next week. We could have went ahead and went Friday. I was like, well, that's all right. She's got appointment Monday, but it's at one o'clock. We gotta be out at 11 anyway. So I'm like, okay. All right, that'll be fine. Then she lets me know this morning, oh, you got a doctor's appointment at 9.30 Monday morning. And I'm like, oh, man, are you serious? So, yeah, that, so looked like, looks like only one night unless she can get up early enough to cancel it. I do feel that trailer back there a little bit. I've only got, counting the trailer, I've probably only got about 60 pounds on it. I mean, you know, the bike's pulling about 60 pounds all together, that's with the trailer. But on the trailer, I've only got about uh, 25, 20 pounds, 25 pounds on it maybe. So there's a bike for sale. Oh, it's one of those uh, gasoline bikes. You got a gas motor, one of those uh, 50 cc's or might be an 80 or 90 cc. They, they jumped up on the cc's on them now. Thought about building one, but man, by the time I bought tubes and tires for that other bike, you know, I mean, that's expensive. I could buy the whole motor kit, gas tank and everything, throttle and all that for like a hundred bucks. But um, the thing about thing about it is, is I, you know, tubes and tires are too damn expensive. You know, I don't want to have $200 in an old bike, you know, so. I like this one, so this is this is cool. I, I really like this e-bike. Yeah, we're coming up a little grade here, and the bike the bike can feel it. We've slowed down to 29. We were doing 33, but I'm not pedaling. I'm on, I'm just strictly throttle. I'm on throttle right now. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Feels like I need to tighten my seat up. It feels like it's moving a little bit.
But I think I'll do some, do something different on that hitch back there. I think that causes a lot of it. But, you know, I'll, I'll do something different there. Make it a little bit more sturdier. Because that's just a little spring. And, you know, that thing is going to sway a little bit if you use that. Now, when, when it's by itself, it's fine. But, you know, I mean, you got to bring gear with you. So, the bike's pulling it okay. Um, like I said, I'm strictly on throttle right now on number five. We're doing 35 miles an hour even. 35.2, four, something like that. So, yeah, it's doing pretty good. I do have it wide open, but it'll be all right. Um, I was just going to leave my backpack with Monkey, you know, because she's bringing the car. But then I thought, well, you know, um, I need to know how it's going to pull, you know what I mean? So, seems to be pulling it pretty good. Now, I got a lot of stuff in that backpack that is not needed on a, on a bike trip like this. <clears throat> so, I can lighten it up. So, I might just get another cheap backpack, you know. And just put the bare essentials in it you know cooking kit little stove maybe a change of clothes and that'll lighten up a lot so my big camera with her but we'll go out here and we'll pick a spot and we'll wait on her to come out and I'll set the big tent up first because this one won't take that long so there's my buddy that's my buddy Ryan here I don't know what they're doing huh did both sides must be trying to keep that from washing away there you know being on that bridge right there like that about 33 right now 33 and a half 5.5 miles still got all bars y'all have to unlock the gate this time because the trailer won't fit through the thing and I don't want to unhook it and turn it up on its side to get it through that little hole so yeah not far from it now so I 
accidentally hit the minus button back there. Slowed me down. There's something rattling back here, but I think it'll be all right. I just got my pack strapped on. The, the, the strap that holds the trailer together doesn't go clear over my pack and down. So I brought it over and then I ran a strap to the bar a bungee cord to the bar from the strap to the bar and then I ran another bungee from left to right on it so it should be okay I brought me a couple pops I don't know how long she's going to be so it's supposed to rain all weekend so that'll be a good test for our new tent and for this one Hopefully we can find a good spot. It'd be alright to go where we went that one time uh, when we tried out that brand new tent that we bought that hooks on the back of the SUV. That would be nice. That's a nice little spot there. There's another little spot right across from there that's nice, but I know when it rains it kind of floods. And I don't mean like water, you know, I don't mean like the river floods. I mean like it's just kind of in a low spot and it holds water. All right, we're going off here to the left. A lot of cars down at the ramp, down to boat ramp, the river there. Brought our fishing poles, I don't know. Uh, if we get to do some fishing monkey went to the store yesterday and wanted to know what I wanted for To cook on camp out and I was like, I don't know whatever you want She said you like snow crabs she brought some Bought some giant snow crab legs. So I'm gonna cook them on the fire tonight So those should be pretty good if we get to have a fire If not, I'll break them up and I'll uh, Put them in a pan of water and we'll boil them up but I thought it'd be good on the fire, so. Yeah, here we are, Pots Preserve. This is called Hootie Point. Go and lock this gate. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it through that little hole, so I'll just unlock the gate. Check, make sure my pack, I gotta get the number the gate code it's on my phone right here on my phone holder everything seems to be fine and back there okay hang on guys i'll kick you back on in a minute all right guys here we go it's nice back in here ah coolness hot out there in that sun even though you're getting a breeze riding a bike as soon as you stop that's it <laughs> the sun gets you
That trailer seems to be pulling fine. Like I said, though, I can feel it every once in a while wanting to sway. I think that's in that spring-loaded hitch. I don't care for them. Yeah, I'll change that. I'll rig up my own thing, make it mine, you know. There's the kiosk. Up, oh, squirrel. I don't know if you saw him or not. About five seconds later, he would have been supper time for me. Okay, so we're coming up here. Let's see. It'd be nice to get down by that shelter, but there's always somebody there. Always. If there's nobody there, that's the one we're taking. I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. We got lucky. Ha ah, ah. ha! Well, alright. Well, heck yeah. So I don't have to worry about covering the bike up if it rains. I'll just roll it under the shelter. Yeah, there's no, no one here. Ha <laughs> ha! Cool. Alright. That spot over there is where we were at when we tried out the, the last brand new tent we got. All right, this is cool. Okay guys, hang on a second and I'll kick you back on here in a minute. I'm gonna look around and uh, see where she wants it to, I think we'll put it right underneath the shade tree, but anyway, we'll wait until she gets here. So, but uh, let me look around here and see what's going on. Okay guys. So here we are. This is how I got my pack. That's my phone. I got it turned up just in case she can't get in the gate or something. But it's picking up. She must be getting ready to leave. Yeah, it's picking up uh, the front door. Um, but yeah, cool, huh? All right. Um, so I'm going to take the pack off. I'm going to take my pack off. But I didn't lose anything out of that. I put a couple pops there because like I said, I didn't know how long she was going to be. I want to set my pack up here somewhere. And I'm not sure where we're going to put that big tent. It's an 11 and a half by 11 and a half. They gave me a choice by 10 and a half by 10 and a half, 11 and a half by 11 and a half, or 12 and a half by 12 and a half. I chose 12 and a half by 12 and a half, but they must have been out and they said, would you settle for the 11 and a half? And I said, well, sure, you know, no problem. Let's gonna make a 10 minute video, which it'll probably be a little longer, but um, yeah, we're gonna see how well, how easy that is to set up compared to our instant up, which in, I always called it instant piss you off up. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's gotta be easier than that thing, so. I'm not sure, so I'm not sure where I'm going to put my tent. I think I'll put my tent right here. Well, maybe I'll put our tent, the big tent, right here. Yeah, I think it's pretty level right here. And then mine, I'm not sure where I'm going to put mine yet, but I need to look around. Look around, see, I want to keep it in the shade. Maybe I'll put it right there. We'll see. Okay, so like I said, I think I'm going to move over there. Or put my tent up over there. So i got to be <laughs> close by Monkey so she doesn't get afraid. That's okay. Might be her. I messaged her and sent her a picture. <laughs> That's a surprise. We got the uh, shelter spot. She says, oh, cool. That didn't take you long. I'm like, no, I got here pretty quick, actually. Okay. So she's getting ready to leave. Okay, Monk. All right. 
Now, let me see here. I think I'm going to set this up right here. Well, if it rains, I'm going to have a lot of water coming off that roof, so I kind of want to stay away from that. So I think I'm going to come over here. I'll show you. I'll move the camera here in just a second for you. This should be okay. All right. Now, had a company send me a uh, a gimbal for my phone. I don't use my phone a lot, but I thought, you know, I could use it for moving around, stuff like this. It could follow me, but uh, it's not working right. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Okay. But, um over here all right I'm gonna flip this one up here like this I'm gonna flip that down that's a lot better like that let me tell you maybe Move this stuff off here in case I gotta stand it up on its end or something. Take my glasses off. Dang. get my poles out I got my rain fly here oh, grabbed them both that's all right I'm breathing so heavy guys but it's hot out here I don't know what it is 90 something I think had a little bit of thunder last night of course, the airboats are out, but a little bit of thunder last night. A lot of rain. Now, we'll do this one. I brought my sleeping pad. I did sleep in this the other night, guys. Like, like I said, I was going to, like Monkey suggested, and uh, it was okay. I didn't have my sleeping pad in there, so if you do end up getting one of these, um, be mindful. Yeah, you should probably bring a sleeping pad because really makes a difference there is a little pad in there but you know it's real thin but uh it, it seemed to be okay there's that check to see might be monkey leaving Must be. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, Jesus. Man. Well.
still a, a cool little tent. I haven't had the rain fly on yet, so. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Cool. Alright. Now I gotta get these uh, straps underneath here hooked up to the legs. <clears throat> Which I'll probably just set it up like this. I gotta readjust this because I adjusted it from my backpack, but it's not hard to do. Just pull it snug like that. Just keeps them from folding in. Same way with this one. There we go. There. Now we're pretty much set up other than the rain fly. So let's go ahead and put that on because like I said it's supposed to rain all weekend. And again, never never had this on there yet, but I do know it's got like a little porch. So, this, here's a zipper here. And a zipper here, so. You know what? I wanna turn this around. Cause I want to wake up looking at the woods and the trees. Sorry about that. I also wanted to show you this. It's got got a couple of these stakes that you put in the ground on your feet. Helps hold it down. That does get annoying though. And they just make the same passes all day long. They go up a mile or two, turn around, come back. Go up a mile or two, turn around, come back. Jeez. I mean, if I gotta wear some kind of earmuffs, you know, headphones to keep me from you know because it's so loud i i'm not going to enjoy that ride i mean geez man all right now put this down here
like that. Nice fit, kind of like a fitted sheet on your bed. Now bring you around here. And we'll, uh, we've got our poles here. Shock cord, easy to put together. how they're going to go they give you the cordage to stake these down so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you I'll show you once it's all done okay guys so here we go we got her set up pretty nice there they give you two of these guy lines and two more uh, stakes I'm not going to need them but it's also got two vents up the top. There's one on the front and one on the back. So, um, but yeah, yeah, it's all right. I wish these, these were a different color. I'm gonna change these out because they're black and at nighttime, you know, and they stretch way out and I got them almost as far as they'll go in and uh or you know adjust it up there but yeah i got that open i know it don't look like it, but it's it's open so yeah that's pretty cool that's easy to put up but yeah that's awesome so all right i'm gonna wait on monkey to get here and as soon as she gets here i'll grab my other camera and do some more filming for you uh, we'll get the other one set up I want to get it set up pretty quick so it'll kind of sound strange because that video clip is going to be in the video I have to make for them so I'll make sure just turning my camera upside down making sure it's flipping like it should I think it is so all right yeah pretty nice case of a windstorm it's got ties there and it's got ties way up there in the corner that you can tie off off on too and uh, so yeah and these sides you can unzip and roll them up and have the sides open if you want so I mean I like it I just wish uh, the seller did message me and said that they're they're wor already working on an upgraded version of this one, so, yeah. But cool. Uh, at least until it starts raining, I think I'm going to lift that up and re open the windows. I'm not sure. We'll see. But when she gets here, I'll turn you guys back on with my other camera. Okay, guys, so Monkey made it. Yay. She's been doing some filming. So, yeah. I had to move that because Queen has to have the best spot. That's not true. I told you I'd put it anywhere you want. So, I moved here. We're going to put the big one here. So, we're going to open this up real quick. I forgot my tripod, so bear with me. And, uh, like I said, this gonna be another video too so this won't this part won't be in the won't be in the review video gotta be careful when you open these tents up I've seen guys just grab their knife 
and then they complain when they get, well, there's a cut in this. I know I didn't do it. Yeah, you did. I saw you do it. <laughs> I'm sending it back. Now remember, guys, of course, here comes their boats and other boats. And it's pretty cool because we just seen a, you know, last weekend you guys saw me towing a big boat. We just saw a little John boat with a little mud motor pulling two airboats. He was hooked onto one airboat, and that airboat was hooked onto another, and he was pulling them up the river, wasn't he, Mom? Yeah, he was. He was doing it. So anyway, remember guys, this thing is huge and it's heavy, but it's not a backpacking tent. I've seen guys doing similar ones to these saying, oh man, this thing's heavy. You could never backpack with it. No kidding. It's not meant for backpacking. Right. It's a, it's a gazebo and it also, you can use it for a tent. So it's not something you're going to want to carry around with you a lot it's for car camping you bring it in your car and you set it up so i'm gonna get this out of here and then i'll have to start filming i might have to have monkey film i don't know because she's like this for some reason <laughs> she doesn't understand she can stay one on the spot spot and i can move around this far and but she's I was walking so I could get you on your bicycle going down the road. Anyway, so. Oh, big see dragon. Him? Yeah. <laughs> it's got a lizard. It's just running around. Hi, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. All right. He's checking out the tent. So, got a nice carry bag. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to carry this over there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set it down. I'm going to get the stuff out of it. I'm talking to them, Monk. Monkeys over there, uh-huh, okay, yeah, all right, then what? <laughs> so, she's filming too, so this is pretty funny. So I'm gonna set you guys down here for a minute because Monkey forgot my tripod. Excuse me, who's uh, responsible for the tripod? Okay, so I got this one, but this one will never hold this two pound camera I'm no. holding in my hand. I'm so I'm gonna set you down here yeah. and then um, I'll start the review video. Hopefully that'll work out all right. I don't know. We'll have to see, but anyway. All right, guys. Now I'm going to do the review video, but I'm keeping it in this video. All right? Okay. Hey, everyone. Today we got this Deer Femi. It is a gazebo tent. We're going to set this up. We're actually going to camp out in it. We're going to give it a, a complete full review because um, the company sent this to me they'd like me to review it for them and we are in a real world situation so you may hear some boats there's a river right behind you and we're going to camp out in it and we're going to see how it looks this thing has a nice carry bag it's easy setup easy tear down and it also has some pretty cool features we'll get into here in just a minute okay we're going to unzip this We're going to pull everything out. This also has a floor. You can use it with or without the floor, which is a nice touch. It also has what they call a rain cap or what we call a rain fly in case it rains. Or when you leave it off, you can see the stars. You can look up and see the stars. Got some poles, some stakes here. Now we're gonna set it right up here in this nice flat soft area, right in about where it's sitting at right now. Got extra stuff here. Remember this is not a backpacking tent. 
but it also has instructions right here on how to set it up and tear it down. The thing we're going to do, we're going to unbuckle the strap, take the strap, put it where you can't lose it. This is packing materials, poppies. It up to me to put it inside out. Now that we got all the sides popped out, I'm going to go in and pop up the center. And it's done. Now, all you have to do is stake down the corners. They've got plenty of stakes. And all these sides, you got a zipper here for ventilation you've got a little vent here for ventilation or you can roll all the sides up put your furniture inside it has double sided zippers so you can zip from the inside or outside Just like that Or you can have one side open, two sides open, or all of them open, or none. Just like that. Also, got a zipper there. Again, there's a zipper on the inside and outside. Double zipper on every part of it. Very nice. Now, you can move this thing wherever you want, down here on the bottom is where you put your stakes in, and I'll show you one of them right now. Down here, there's a little grommet, you just drive your stake in, we're in Florida, so it's kind of sandy. Very rarely do you need a hammer down here in Florida, but in each corner has one of them to stake your tent down. 
Now this is the floor. It Velcros all the way around the sides. So very nice. You got two bags it comes with that zip up. They are waterproof. There's one here and one here. You can put them in any corners you want. And also up here, storage compartments up there. You can hang a light right here. And it also comes with a rain fly. That's it right there. That'll go over the top. I like the skirting. And I like that the floor, you can even roll it up halfway, whatever you want, or not have it at all. And the floor comes up the side, so no creepy crawlies will get you. Yeah. Very nice. So we're going to put the rain fly on. And up here, as you can see, it's mesh, so you can look out at the stars. Now, I don't know if we're going to see any stars because we're under a tree, but... If we put it out there in the open, again, we're in Florida, it's 90 some degrees, so we wanted to be in the shade. Also, I'd like to mention on the rain fly or the rain cap, it does have some nice seal tape there, which makes it waterproof. You won't get any water through those stitchings. Now, it also comes with these guy ropes and stakes to put in through here. You can stake it out just like this. That keeps the wind from pushing your tent walls in. What you can do, if you have to pull your sides down, you run your guidelines right up through there and tie them out, just like that. And then for ventilation, you can unzip these. And roll these up for ventilation so that's very nice so if you think you're not going to need the sides down which we might they're expecting rain you can keep your sides up stake that down but if you have to it's it's real simple just to roll these back down Push this right through that grommet, which is also a nice vent, and stake it back down. And you have your Velcro on the sides, and it goes clear down to the bottom on both sides. And again, you can zip or unzip this from the inside by unzipping these. So you don't have to come outside the tent to zip and unzip these. Now right in here, you'll have a pole on each side. There's one here, and there's one here, and there's two ties. There's one there and one there. They go into the little pockets, one up here and one down there. And then the same way with the one across the top, it'll go in here, it ties there, ties here, and then goes into that pocket. And that's your door frame. Again, you don't have to have a floor in here if you don't want the floor in. She likes to have a floor, so we put the floor in for her. And there's her little bed. Plenty of room in here. I'm 5'7", and I'm standing straight up even over here at the edge. This is very nice. We do have a storm rolling in, so I'll probably have to put the sides down. But this is very, very nice. Okay, guys, so we're going to take a little ride out here, see what's going on. I don't know what that noise was. My front brakes and barely moving the bike. Huh. All right. But anyway, we're going to take a ride down to the other end where we usually camp at. We seen a truck leaving. I'm trying to get on my bike here we've seen a truck leaving um, a 
so there might be somebody camping there or maybe they just left I don't know but um, yeah all right all right here we go I figured before it gets too bad out we'll take a ride down the road here Something's clicking. I gotta figure out what that is. I don't see anything. I'm not sure what it is. Probably the back brakes. <laughs> Stop, whatever, whatever it is. I thought we'd take the bike out. Still got all bars on the battery. 5.7 miles is what it is from home to the uh, to the shelter back there. I don't have my wireless mic on, so I'm sure you're going to hear some wind. We're not going that fast. We're only going about 15, 14, 15 miles an hour. And this out here, of course, is where we usually camp. A couple trucks here. Probably boaters or something. Turtle dove. I don't see anybody back here. Yeah, this is where we usually camp. This is where we stopped when I first took this thing on its first ride. I don't know what my phone's doing stuff. Let's see what my phone's saying. <clears throat> Shake phone to report problem. No, thank you. Okay. Because my phone was shaking on the bike, apparently, so... I turned that off. Go up through here. Camped right there to the right a couple years ago. This water's really low. Um, when I slept on the boat, the, our other boat, our old boat, for the first time. There's the grill. Somebody took the one. There's the grill there that we took parts out of. Let's go down here. Still feels like my seat's loose. I tightened it the other day and it was fine. Now it just feels like it's loose again. Whoa. Okay, we're not going this way. Big spider. Big spider. Well, there's 
banana spiders. Shoot. If I can go around. Oh, there's another one right above my two of them, right above my head. All right, we're getting out. There's another one. All right, we're getting out of here. Uh, I could have been riding through them things and would have never known it. All right, enough of that. We're out of here. Jumped a little ramp back there. Yeah, I love this bike. one kayak in the back of that dodge over there yeah I'd say people just because you got to make reservations guys to get the code to come out here and that's what these guys are doing they're making reservations and not camping because they they don't want to they don't think they should have to use the public boat ramp and that's that's not right that's not fair to the campers and there's we're the only ones camping out here in this whole campground here we're the only ones unless you know someone comes in tonight but right now you saw there is no one back there camping and there's no one on the way in here camping there's no one camping around us we're the only ones in this whole campground again which it's fine with me but <clears throat> you know sometimes it's nice to hear other people out having fun too jeez must be monkey <laughs> out front of the house because I got two cameras out there now that give me alerts I got the ring doorbell and then I got the one I just put up It did cool down a little bit. It's still hot. I mean, it's muggy. It's still 90 degrees. I think it was 96 earlier. I think that's what I seen. 96 degrees. We'll take a ride out here to the gate. Yeah, there's nobody here, man. But this is a, I can ride back through here. This is a nice spot right back in here too. But when when we come out that one time, when we first set up the the tent for the for the SUV, we thought about here, but it was so swampy because you know it's like a bowl here, and I knew it's going to rain, but I don't know how much or how hard. So I figured, you know, I didn't want to camp here, and being a mud hole you know what I mean so this is a pretty nice spot right here too but again you get a lot of kind of goes downhill here and you get a lot of a lot of rain but I mean that this this spot right here would have been okay yeah let's take a ride out oh there's a hawk cool I don't know if you guys seen him or not Let's take a ride out here <clears throat> to the gate. It's nice to be able to just take a little ride. I don't know if you guys can see that sky or not, but yeah, it's looking uh, tighten you up there a little bit. Yeah, it's sorry about the wind. It's looking a little, a little dark. a dead bird I don't know if it was an owl I got to keep my phone turned up when she's not here so I can hear if, you know yeah right there I don't know if that's an owl or a hawk oh that's a crane that's one of them cranes oh dang it 
poor thing. Alright. Onward! So I got 59 miles on the bike so far. Uh, a tree came down here. I didn't notice that on the way out. But uh, yeah, a tree came down there. Someone cut it up. palm farm moving and the way it looked it looked like somebody was just standing there man I'm like whoa <laughs> right over here on the left of this gate there's a log a big old log's been laying there for years right there it's got a uh, geocache in it we found it Yeah, there's all kinds of trails through here. I'm gonna come out sometime and just just run some trails, you know, on the bike. See how well it holds together. But I don't do no, I don't do any jumping or anything like that like I used to. But nice, it's beautiful out here. Like I said, this. I've said it before, I'll say it again, this, this river out here, man, this place, like, I don't know, at nighttime, it just, like, it has a whole different vibe to it, you know, sometimes it's really spooky, and sometimes it's really, really beautiful, but all in all, it's still beautiful, even when it's spooky, but, uh, yeah, and then, like, like there was uh, that one time I was out here all by myself, the whole campground, there wasn't nobody here. Just like just like now, only Monkey wasn't with me either. I did a solo. But that time, the bug just flew mine. And a gnat or probably a mosquito. No. But that time, I didn't hear anything weird. I didn't I wasn't spooked out or anything. It was really cool. But sometimes out here, it just gets spooky. It's just uh, very mysterious at night, you know. Yeah, there's our there's our setup. Might burn that box there later. If not, we'll have to take it with us. All right, and we're back. Okay, guys. I'll be, I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, guys. So we got it all set up. This top was real easy to put on, wasn't it, Mama? Yeah. As she calls it the rain hat. The rain hat. She's uh, she's all set up here. Got her little fan and her light, and she laid down there for five minutes. Ended up being 15 minutes. Yeah. Very comfortable. Very nice. Again, we got these. Over there, and put that up here. We got a storm rolling in, so I'll probably have to put the sides down. Yep. And some wind, so I'll get these pegged out. Very nice. Oh, and she got these. If you guys watch her videos, you've probably seen this in one of her Timu videos. <laughs> There's a tent. There's a camper. There's a lantern, a campfire. <laughs> Not sure what that is. I can't see. Looks like a table with stuff on it. So ambiance, very nice. I'm liking this thing. This thing is very easy to set up. I've never set one of these up before. So I started out upside down again, but this thing is really easy. And next time I'm sure monkey will help me and it'll be even that much easier very nice top was real easy to put on 
she just got on one side and I got on the other and we pulled it over this is you probably seen it's seam taped and it's also right here on the corners it has uh, it's reinforced I don't know if you can see up in there that, that's reinforced so it doesn't poke through and on every one it has this little lift here to keep condensation out so it breathes better very very nice of course there'll be a link in the description I like it what do you think mama you like it we get your cot and we can all camp in there we can all camp in there but uh yeah she was like oh we can we can use that and put out back and just leave it up permanent and then i asked her a little bit ago when she was laying down there i said you still want to do that she said no <laughs> that's very nice huh yeah here oh thank you mama you're welcome all right go, okay okay hang on a second guys i'll be back with you check this out <laughs> some of you know what that is i'm not the only one with brake issues of course i've got uh disc brakes these are rim brakes they rub on your rim and they squeeze together like that a lot of guys like these better i like the disc better myself when they're not squealing but yeah that one was worn down that one wasn't adjusted right so ha. okay <laughs> got a fire going but yeah this uh this tent is awesome guys once we got it up monkey just fell in love with it oh, raise that up but uh, I just put a couple sides on in case it did rain but um, yeah if it rains we'll we'll know if it is waterproof I think it will be um, the only issue I could see maybe water blowing into there but it'd have to blow pretty hard but still very nice tent i like it so monkey's gonna sleep in there and i'm gonna sleep in there yeah i guess uh yeah i'm canceling my appointment well rescheduling it so that way i don't have to get up so early and be in a rush monday so uh, cool my air pads in the truck so I forgot to get it out I got to get it out and get it blown up she put my pillows and my sleeping bag in there so one night I am gonna sleep in there I don't know if it'll be tonight or tomorrow maybe tonight I don't know we'll just have to see all right guys nice little garage <laughs> for the bike <laughs> all right I'll be back with you cool thing about my bike I can plug my phone in or as you can see it's charging my my uh, action camera it was down on 22 percent when we was riding let's see what it is now let's see is this 10 percent that don't seem right Oh, well, okay, hang on, it's charging. Let me unplug it and see. Yeah, it says 10%. All right, I'll keep it charging. I have a charger in here, too. A charging bank. I can charge that camera with. Or my phone or whatever. It's right here. That charges that camera up pretty good, so. Right, let's plug this in. and it's charging okay i'll be back with you and we'll see what it gets it up to okay guys been about 10 minutes we're up to 17 percent so that works good and you don't even have to have it on so <clears throat> you're using less electric that's pretty cool monkey said it's pouring at the house she says she got the wood before it rained <laughs> So I said, that's good. She said, yep. <coughs> and I remember we're only like six miles. <laughs> that way-ish. 
All right, so I had to put the fire out. As I walked over there, <laughs> read that sign, and stapled on the other side of that sign, there's a burn ban. <laughs> I was like, whoops, so <laughs> I put the fire out. <laughs> we have company, guys. There's a little head sticking out that back window. Oh no, she rolled the window down. It's probably not gonna go back up. I ordered switches for it there in. I just, they came in yesterday. Oh no. <laughs> I was just saying, oh no, she put the window down. No, it wasn't me. You got a lock there, you know, that can lock those windows. I, it was locked. And I went over there to, to close the gate, and that's when he did that. He unlocked it, and it went down. Oh, he unlocked the window? He unlocked this friggin' window from here, because I had it up. And not really oh, no. I know. <laughs> I had you a good fire going. Did you? Yeah, but I had to put it out. Why? Huh? Why did you have to put it out? Did it rain? No. Oh. Because I walked over to that sign, and there's a sign stapled onto that sign. Yeah. Danger, no fires allowed. Really? There's a fire ban, so I had to put the... I had a good fire going to... At least fire I got ban. I got the box burnt. Fire ban and a rainstorm. Yeah, but it just... Right. Yeah, but it, no. No, it's it's just been put up. Like today. <laughs> You're kidding. I brought all that wood. Well, I know, but but remember we've had a drought. Monkey had to go back to the house and get a pot. That's a long story, but apparently it's my fault. But anyway, so we gotta use that since we can't have a fire. <laughs> So, I don't know if they mean on the ground or period. So, I don't know. I don't want to take that chance. Okay, so, got a light up here. And I don't know if this is going to... I don't know if that will heat it, all that water up or not, but we'll see. I mean, if I have to, I'm going to build a fire. Monkey's getting hungry, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna get her fed. If I have to, I, I will build a fire in that one. And then uh, cook the crab legs. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's supposed to rain. I don't think she believes me. She's gonna ever look at the sign. But the sky's pretty clear, but it has been windy and dry. It did rain last night here, but because some of the stuff around here I noticed was wet. <clears throat> so, all right. I just might do that. She's getting hungry. Hey, you know, she's diabetic, so, you know, she's, she's got to eat. I mean, she's got snacks and stuff, but, you know, she hasn't had anything since lunch, really, other than some crackers and stuff. So, <laughs> Bruno's out there exploring <laughs> check this out guys i want to scrape that out of there look at that hmm let me get a tripod let's try to get a fire going with what's in here so my guess is someone just pulled out of here today It's weird for him to leave on a Saturday, though. That's good for us, because we've got a good spot. Our wood's a little damp, because it rained at the house last night. I don't know if I can. Let me try to find a piece of paper. Oh, I bet you they had a fire today, yesterday then. No, this had to be done today. 
I could always use my lighter, but I like doing things this way. There's coals. Wow, there's a big hunk of coal. Yeah. Red hot. Oh, well, that's nice. Wow. A cigarette box here. Maybe maybe they got told to leave because they had a fire. I don't know. I don't know either. You saw the sign, right? Yeah. Lots of buzzing, you know? No, why didn't you say something? She knew, oh, so she knew there was a fire ban? Yeah. She watches the news and she said it was on the news. Well, well her mom knew. Why didn't you think of something? You knew we were going camping. Oh, well, I thought you knew she said. No, we don't watch the news. I'm surprised when you booked it that you didn't see it on there. It didn't. It's not on there. That's yeah. why. I already told you that. Okay. You go go online and no, look. I it's you. not there. If it was on there, I would have said, well, we can't have a fire, but it's not on there. Uh, I figured it'd be all right because we've had some downpours, you know. We've had quite a few in the last few weeks. You know, unless they just put it on today. I don't know. We had it poured when I was at the house. It was a good spring, and then it stopped about an hour. As I was leaving, it, it stopped. It hasn't rained a drop here. It thundered a little bit. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let that warm, warm up. And then uh, I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, there we go. We've got her going now. It's only been about five minutes. Well, if we can get by with this until the food's done, then we'll put it out. So her mom said, Oh yeah, she watches news. She said, I knew there was a fire ban. <laughs> Monkey's like, why the hell didn't you tell me? You knew we were going camping. <laughs> All right, let me get this going. Then we'll put the crab legs on. Yummy yum. All right. I'm gonna get these cooked up. They're frozen, but they still won't take that long. They're pre-cooked, so. Uh, there's still a whole bunch over there in that bag. <laughs> okay, guys, so there we go. Monkey's already touring, is it done? I think so. The crab? Yeah. Did you eat any yet? Kinda, not fully. Okay, but we got some butter here. She's got her shrimp sauce. We got some of this stuff. What is it? Garlic dipping sauce. Got some of this. This is what was on the grill. Still got a couple pounds over there boiling in the water. So we're going to eat, and then I'll be back with you. I'm done. <laughs> All done. How is it, Monk? Very good. Yeah, I still remember first time we went camping. Now I, I warned her too before when we first met. I was like, when I go camping, I eat. 
first time we went camping, she said, you want me to get the hamburgers already made up? I said, for what? She said, for the camping trip. I ain't taking no hamburger. Hmm. What? What are we going to have? I'm going to cook. We're not taking hamburgers and hot dogs. I'm not a little kid. <laughs> she loves when we go camping because what happens? You eat. Yeah, I get good food. Yeah. We're sitting here in bear territory eating crab. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> and the only ones here. <laughs> yeah, the only ones here. <laughs> so I'm sitting here having a conversation with you. Yeah. And nobody's there. You hear me? No. Yeah. So anyway, we're just kind of hanging out. I don't even know what time it is. We don't even look at the time, do we? No. When we're out here. So, I'm going to ask Monkey. Hey, Monk. Mm -hmm. So, you still just want to set this up in the backyard and leave it up? No. Mm -mm. Where am I? Oh, there's my glasses. <laughs> She's like, this is gorgeous. Oh, my God, I'm in heaven. <laughs> uh, it's 93. My phone's 93%. <laughs> it's 79 degrees. Let's see what the weather is forecasting for tonight. Uh, no rain for tonight. Um, no rain till tomorrow around noonish. So, yeah, it's uh, 79. Fair. It feels like 85. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, oh, what time is it? 11.08. Mm. How was your food, Monk? Oh, really good. Yeah. You said you like it on the fire better? Yeah. Yeah, I do too because you can taste the smoke, you know. Yeah, it's Just really our good. Fan, our Timu fans. No, I like you, the seasoning you mixed in with the butter. That was good. Yeah, I melted the butter and then the seasoning she had. Mm. What's it called? <laughs> On the seafood seasoning. Seafood seasoning? Mm hmm And the glass jar. Yeah. So I mixed it in with the butter. I just dumped some in. I didn't, you know, just right. dump. Well, I dumped it in a bowl, and then once the butter, butter melted, I poured the butter in, and then it kind of stirred up on its own. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Yeah. And what's that stuff in the little bottle, that garlic stuff that you bought me for Christmas? That's hot stuff. Yeah, but what was it? I don't know the name of it. But it was really, really good. Mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it was good. It was really good. You really tasted garlic and some other seasonings in there. Um, you tasted a little salt, a little pepper. Very, very good. <clears throat> yeah, this is nice. We got our little wind up lamp here. doesn't last long I think the battery's getting old this thing's old yeah. but um but it works all right you know I mean for if you needed one for an emergency because you know I mean and you can also charge it too but it doesn't stay charged long like I said I think the batteries but that thing's old but I gave a dollar for that yeah but I figured it was worth it because you can crank it up so right <clears throat> yeah yeah so we're just hanging out here uh, I don't know. Do you want to do story time? That's up to you. Alright. Let me think of a good story for you. We got the owls hooting. Yeah. We, we heard, heard a, the coyotes. Yeah. Well, we heard one. He was howling. Huh? But he was a good ways away. He was probably over towards Oak Hammock. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's usually where they hang out at, over in that area. Some They'll come through this this area. They're really cool when they all get together and start howling and stuff. Yeah. It's 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 awesome. Then you know it makes the owls start hooting. And mm -hmm. We got the cadises in the back here. We heard some bullfrogs down there and some crickets. Mm -hmm. Now that the airboats, I still hear one way over there. They're supposed to. They're not supposed to run them after ten o'clock. No. But, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh well. I wasn't supposed to have a fire either, but I did. 
I think you were fine with that. It was the, you know, campfire. It said no campfires. So it, it didn't say no fires. It just said no campfires. Right. So I'm thinking on the ground. Yeah. But still, I like to obey the rules. I don't want to get kicked out. No, I know. But at the same time, you know, we've got to eat. So. But, yeah, the crab turned out really good, didn't it? Yeah, it really It's did. still sitting up there. It's cooling. We've got to get it and get it put in the car, and then we'll lock the car up. And I think my bike will be all right over there. Okay. Seeing a guy floating down the creek fishing. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I think he had a trolling motor. Yeah. Yeah. I got a couple. You guys, want, you want to hear a true story, or you want me to make one up? True story. True story? I like true story. Alright, I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Let me cool down here for a minute. Okay, so that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Well, yeah. I shut the camera off. It wasn't, what, three minutes? Yeah. We heard a hell of a racket over here on this table. She thought it was the car. It wasn't the car. Over here on this table, and I was like, oh no, something got into the crab. I was shining the light out there, and Bruno's going nuts. Well, he took off to the door. He can get underneath the door of this thing and get out. Mm -hmm. And she hollered for him to come back. So he jumped up to keep Mommy safe. He's growling and barking. and Trying to light out there. I didn't see anything at first. So our plates that we had, <laughs> those green plates, mm -hmm. I just, I'm talking to them. Oh. <laughs> She's over there, uh-huh, uh-huh. I stuck in the bag that that the crabs came in because you know it's ziplocked so i ziplocked it real tight and I, I forgot to put it in the car I thought, it'll be all right there for a little bit because i knew i'd have to go back out and get the crab once it cools down put it in the car and <laughs> oh once man that racket so i get out there and i'm looking around i didn't see anything you know my backpack was fine the crab was fine you know nothing was knocked over Finally, I walked around, and, and I seen those plates laying there. It, it tried to run off with our plates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was funny. That wasn't funny. No, it wasn't. That was not nice there. No, it was not. No, oh, it was not. <laughs> so. <laughs> hey, Mama. I didn't do it. Why are you laughing? Because you did it. Alright, so here's a quick story time. Me and my friend Dupe, his name Dave, we called him Dupe, uh, hung out together. He was the one that was with me when I got in the fight with the deer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was the one that was with me then. Uh, we went camping and we had a. Uh, <laughs> Crab meat. I had uh, one of these, this is going back, you know, this is like, what, 1995 <laughs> probably, and uh, yeah, it had to be around 1995, and so, we, <laughs> I had this, this old cabin tent, it was like a four person tent, it was, it was enough for me and him to camp out in, I gave like five dollars for it at yard sale, it was in good shape, you know, it was excellent condition. We go back in along this, this creek, and it's called Crooked Creek in my hometown of Cambridge, Ohio. So, it's actually off a road called Corduroy Road. Well, Corduroy Road goes over this creek. But, um, and we had had a couple days of rain. We wanted to get out and do some night fishing and camping. And finally, the weather broke, and we're like, okay, it's not supposed to rain until tomorrow. Let's go do some night fishing creeks up but you know they should still be hitting we'll do some catfishing so we did had some we're drinking some beers and stuff so we're along this creek bank and uh yeah it's probably about four or five in the morning we decided to go in the tent we go in the tent now we don't have pads and all this stuff you know we just laid right on the floor of the tent with like uh and, and we didn't even have sleeping bags we just brought a couple pillows and a couple blankets so, and that's really all we had but our fishing gear, you know, our fishing poles and tackle box. That was, that was pretty much it. Of course, some beer. Some beers, but, you know, 
Yeah, it's time to go to sleep, you know. We've you know, been drinking all night and, and caught caught our, caught a bunch of fish. We had a good night and and I kept watching the, the creek and it and it kept rising, then then it kinda stopped about a foot below, you know, it bef before it would crest. <coughs> I'm like, We're okay then it stopped and it didn't rise anymore for like over an hour or so. We're okay. We we just get in the tent and it just starts pouring down, just hammering down, you know. And I'm like, oh, the tent didn't leak, so we're we're good. There's no there's no leaks, you know. We're fine. So it's just almost daylight. Dave decides he's got to go take a pee. I'm I'm sleeping, right? But he woke me up. I'm a very light sleeper. I heard the tent unzip, and I heard, holy shit. And I said, what? He said, we got to go, and we got to go now. And I said, what? And since he opened, since he unzipped the tent, the water came running in. I started getting soaked. The water, the creek had risen, and the water, well, we was in water. I mean, the, our tent was flooded. So he grabbed his fishing pole. I grabbed my pole and the tackle box. And we got the hell out of there. And we, we had like half a mile to walk to my car. And... But right before you get to where the car was parked, you guys know that creek, you know where I'm talking about, right there at the bridge. You kind of got to cross a little creek, you know, that you could almost jump over, you know, when the water's, when the water's not up like that, you can pretty much just walk down and, you know, to the other side. Well, it was flooded. And this, this water was rising bad. Here, car. Mm -hmm. Going in or going out? I don't know. So, anyway, um, so I turned around, shining a flashlight, and, and the tent was just gone. It was just, you know, just collapsing. It was gone. I said, man, we got to go. So we hurried up, and we got that part. We couldn't cross it. There was no way in hell we could cross that. So we had to walk a little farther around this little gully part, and finally. We just said we got to go and we kind of hopped in and waded up to our chest over to the other side and we climbed up out and got in the car and we were soaked and so I backed the car up to turn around and I just shined the bright lights down where the tent was and we could just see the tent and just what was left of it just right down the creek. Mm -hmm. So if he hadn't got up to take a pee... Uh, you know, I mean, we would have been done for. Because, yeah. I mean, no more than he unzipped that tent, I started getting soaked. Because, see, it was keeping the water out. Uh -huh. But it was all the way around the tent. Wow. So, as soon as he unzipped it, man, that was it. It just came flooding in. And, like I said, we 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 took off. And mm -hmm. when I turned around, I was probably only about 50 yards. When I shined the light and the tent was gone, wow. it was just starting to cave in and stuff. Mm. Amazing. And it was like a flash flood. Wow. Yeah, that that was that was a really scary time. True story. That was really really scary. That man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, man, this. You know, we got back to my house and I was like, oh my god, I, I, I couldn't believe it. If he hadn't had to take a leak, wow. he had to pee, and that, and I'm a light sleeper, and I woke up as soon as he unzipped the tent, and I heard, holy shit, we got to go, and we got to go now. And no more he say that, I mean, I was just already soaked, you know. Wow. So I didn't grab, you know, bedroll or nothing. I mean, we just, he grabbed his, because we had a, a fishing pole was leaning up inside the, inside the tent, you know. So he, he grabbed his, I grabbed mine tackle box, my pole and the tackle box, and we got out of there. And like I said, I got about 50 yards away. I turned around and shined the light, and that tent was just rolling like this, just, you know. Mm. Yeah, it was, uh, that was that was, that was pretty scary, man. Yeah, yeah that's um, as far as like natural weather-wise, that's the scaredest I'd ever been. The storm didn't scare us, you know, by any means. Um, but you know, I didn't think the creek would, would rise that fast, but but it did, and that and it just kept rising. And we come back about three hours later, and the the water 
was just to the bottom of the bridge. It wasn't going over the bridge yet, but just to the bottom of it. So, uh, like, and where we was parked, the water was coming up to where we was parked. So, we wouldn't have made it if he hadn't had to pee. Mm -hmm. I mean, we wouldn't have made it because by the time it took the tent out, we, w we would have been in it. All right. You know, when it started. Yeah. So, yeah, we would have drowned. Mm. True story. All right, guys. I'll be back in a minute to tell you goodnight. Okay, guys, so I'm going to say goodnight. I'm probably going to lay awake here for a long time. <laughs> I don't get to sleep this early. What is it, about midnight? Yeah, I think so. So, 1224. So, monkey's still awake, but she is laying in front of her fan. Her fan's loud. It makes a humming noise. I can hear it clear with the car. <laughs> so, I took the crab, put it in the car, locked it up, got me a, got me a Coke, and, uh, yeah, I'm just going to kick back now, lay in front of my fan, and, what are you going to do, Mama? Sleep. She's going to go to sleep. <laughs> Her phone's not working, the screen's jumping, and <laughs> shit. I can't either. No? No, I don't have enough service. Uh, I can send you messages, but mm -hmm. like if I send you a picture or something, it takes forever. But, yeah, so I, I can't get, you know, YouTube. What the hell was that? Uh, Did you hear that? Yeah, I think it came off the tree. No, that ooh noise. Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, if anything interesting happen, happens. Yeah, happens. Pass? No. Uh, like, if I see some wildlife or something, I'll kick you back on. We'll try to film it with the night vision. So. But, yeah, other than that, you loving the tent? Yeah. Yeah, she loves the tent. I do too. I like it. So, it's a great addition, isn't it? Yeah. To our camping arsenal. I think our first one, our uh, Ozark Trail, I think, I'll show you guys, I kind of melted the zipper one night. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... I mean, it's still fine. It still zips up, except for maybe half an inch where it was melted. But uh, everything's still fine on it. And she was like, "So we can throw it away now?" Well, it's still fine, other than that little melt spot. Uh, I told her next time we have a yard sale, I'll just give it to somebody that can use it. You know, because it's it still doesn't leak. It's all there. There's no rips or anything. So yeah. All right. Well, I want. Kick my fan on, turn the light out, drink my pop, and chill. I wish I could chill. It's still, still pretty warm, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm fine. You no, fine? yeah, you got a fan on. Yeah, I'm gonna turn my fan on, but I got my fan off because I'm recording. So, mm. all right, guys, catch you guys in the morning, in the a.m. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Anything weird or funny happens, I'll kick you back on. Good morning, everyone. 10:14 a.m. We've been up for a while, just kicking back. Guy was riding through on his uh, on his e-bike, had his dog in the back on a little trailer. He stopped and talked to us for a little bit. He just lives right down here by the gate, apparently, and he asked if we saw the bear come through last night. I think that might have been what tried to steal our our plates. But, uh, he got him on security camera, so, <laughs> I guess, I guess it lives around here. He sees him quite a bit traveling right through this area. So, might have been that bear, I don't know. Um, could have been a raccoon, but usually you hear those chattering and, and, you know, you'll see him somewhere. But I would say that's probably what it was, probably that bear, and then, when Bruno started barking, black bears don't like confrontation. They'll they'll pretty much leave you alone. 
unless you're messing with like their their cubs or something but yeah uh, so that's pretty cool yeah he said he he caught it on he, he, he catches on security cam quite a bit and he he's, has seen it in person quite a bit traveling through here this way so that's pretty cool so man it's hot already it's like now hang on let, let me see what temperature it is my phone saying it's 78 not sure if I believe that because it is well, it's hot but it's I guess it's more like muggy. I'm sweating to death already, man. I got my fan here. I'm getting ready to turn it on. I was going to get down and do some fishing. I still might, but uh, maybe if I can find a shady spot down here. Uh, like I said, Mikey went home. She's going to take Bruno home. And he's going to stay there most of the day because it's just too hot for him. It's miserable for him. So and she goes back and forth, check on her mom, make sure she'll go, she'll come back, and then she'll go back again, make sure she has lunch, and then. She'll come back out for a while and then she'll go back in make sure she has supper and all that so you know we're only like five minutes from the house by car so that's good and then we got the cameras so we can check on her um, but yeah so Bruno's gonna stay there until later this evening when it cools down um, so yeah that tent did an awesome job I like it monkey's in love with it <laughs> she loves that tent or gazebo whatever yeah it's awesome so yeah we decided to spend the night I postpone postpone my doctor's appointment in the morning yeah she's like I can cancel it if you want yeah <laughs> really yeah <laughs> stay another night and again that guy said I can't believe you guys are the only ones out here <laughs> I know man that's cool so all right I might try to do a little fishing We'll see. I don't know. I had to change my rig. Uh, I got some artificial. I got one of the zoom worms on there. Good for bass, but I don't know. We'll we'll see. <laughs> I think we're gonna have pork chops tonight, so I'll just fry them up in a pan. <clears throat> you know, we had seafood last night, so yeah, I don't wanna have seafood again today, so man. Well I guess I better put my spray on too. Uh right, see you guys in a minute. So Monkey said it was raining at the house and it wasn't raining here. It just rained for about five minutes. Like big drops, but not a downpour, you know. But the sun's shining over here. <laughs> but it's real cloudy over here. So it was funny because it was raining on the tent. I was in the tent laying in front of my fan, you know, kicking back. And I heard it, it was raining on the tent. And I come out here, it was raining on the tent, but it wasn't raining on that picnic table. So, yeah, it was raining there, sun shining there. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. I thought maybe I'd see a rainbow, I'd get a rainbow for you, but I didn't, I didn't see anyone. Didn't rain enough yet, but it's it's a 59 percent chance of rain today or 58 or something like that so far but uh you know i mean technically it rains so <laughs> but not enough to you know check anything out on the tent you know but i'm, I'm sure it's going to be all right all right i'll be back with you guys Yep. That's coming my way. There it is, guys. The rain is here. But kind of sunny out. So make sure it's not getting wet in the tent here. Nice to have that shelter. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down. I see some drips there. I don't want Monkey's bed getting wet. So, I'm gonna drop this down. And that's all I'm seeing right now, so. All right, I'll be back with you guys. Yeah, it's, 
I don't know if you can see the river down there, but it's really, it's really coming down out there. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's coming down now, pretty steady. But look, the sun's, the sun's out, but it is raining, pretty steady. So. Zip these up or down, I guess, whatever you want to call it, just to keep any water from going inside. Oh crap, hang on, and you resumed way in. All right, one more on the other side, and I think that'll be fine. So I lowered my porch down a little bit on this one, and as you can see, it's just running right off. So that seems to be doing well. All right, everything's good. I left that one door open for ventilation, but uh, seems to be doing well. Cool. Okay, guys, so I'm sitting in the tent. Just waiting on monkey she's gonna be out here soon i hope uh, i was just talking to her um it's thundering bad other cameras out the big camera's out under the uh it's out in the shelter so <laughs> this one just happened to be sitting here so i'm sitting in front of the fan monkey's fan and uh cooling down a little bit because it got muggy it rained and it got really muggy, but now it's thundering like crazy. But she's going to bring me some lunch. It's 12 o'clock, so I think, yeah, we're going to have pork chops. I think I'm going to fry up some potatoes for supper tonight, so that should be pretty good. So anyway, just wanted to kick you guys on and let you know what's shaking, what's happening. We're going to take a little walk down this trail. Monkey's filming. So. Yeah, I'm filming. She's filming me, filming her, filming me. All right, which way, Monk? Well, where do you want to go? Follow the trail. It's pretty in here, though. Maybe we'll see some bear paws. I don't know. Probably all rain. What's that? That's probably squirrels looking for nuts. Yeah. Bunch of squirrels this morning. Ugh. What? What do you see? Oh, ugh. Okay, so we're going to go around this way. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to check first. something. Okay, so, yeah, I had my... I had my stuff that wrong on my camera. Look at this one. Not going too and there's far. a baby one there. Yeah. You go first. Nope. You see them better than me. Ugh. That's scary. 
Oh yeah, it's scary. They're all over right now. Yeah, monkey. Let's take a walk down the trail, she says. It'll be fun, she says. Find another one? Shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah, she thinks that's funny. They are nasty. When you get in the web, uh, they're all hanging out there, so how do you know? Oh, there's another one right there. He's moving around. I'm done. We're almost there now. Almost where? To the water. <laughs> almost where? We're almost there. Where are we going? I don't know. Another one right over there. I see him from here. Jeez. Yeah. Now I'm done. Mm -hmm. there you go. But we're close enough to the water. That's all the farther I'm going, guys, with these spiders. Yeah. Lots of spiders in here. It's not really a trail, like a hiking trail. This is a game trail we're on. We could probably go out this way and go back up and around. Probably with more spiders. Oh, you think so? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I know so, Monk. Oh. Well, we're down here by the water. I was trying to see if there was, there was a fishing hole here or something. You know. No, this is a game trail. This ain't a people trail. Mm -hmm. You know, deer, bears, hogs, you know. Yeah. And they're all in here. There you go. Well, it was a trail. We tried. Yeah. Cool. So Monkey took a walk, and I rode my bike with her down to the other side there, the other end. There's a small log I wanted to ride over. <laughs> I told her I'm going right over this log and I took off and she said stop <laughs> I hit the brakes and I said what she started turning her camera on she said I want to film you crashing <laughs> all right Shea Bears thinks he can go over this piece of stick here guys <laughs> let's see what he does oh very good well you could go higher what about the higher one mm. probably Hold on, I want to film you wreck. Well, he's always, you know, blowing up. She actually said that. I want to film you crashing. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't crash. No, you didn't. <laughs> it just would have made a good video. <laughs> I want to film you crashing. Uh. I do love you, though. We're just hanging out in the tent, cooling down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I like the tent. Yeah. Yeah. I like the blue. So you want to set it up permanently in the backyard? No, huh? we're gonna use it. <laughs> I told her. I said, "Come on, man." She said, "Well, we got the other one to take with us." I said, "That other one's a pain in the ass to set up and tear down." You're talking about the one that goes over the pig. Yeah, the instant piss you off one. Yeah. Yeah, that's horrible. I'm like, you've never set it up. You set it up next time. Then then tell me which one you want to set no, up. Because this one's set up easy. It's hard to set up, that sucker. This yeah. one's set up real easy. Yeah, it's very nice. I like it. <laughs> it's a nice tent. And we have lots of room in here. Oh, we're yeah. Get this is medium size, too. Yeah, we're going to get you a cot. So you have a they got too. a 10 and a half, 11 and a half, and 12 and a half. <laughs> this is the 11 and a half. So. It's nice. It was well made too. They gave me a choice. I told them twelve and a half. Then they got back with me and said, "Would you, would you still be interested in the eleven and a half?" I said, "Yeah, that's no problem." 
So, I think this is big enough. Oh, yeah, for us, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that other one would probably be huge. It's a lot better than the instant piss you off one. Oh, yeah. What's it called? Instant up or something? Yeah. No, that thing, no, no. <laughs> I said, we can set that one up in the backyard and leave it up. Yeah. I was just looking for something we could get under and sit. And I understand. It's yeah. big enough. I mean, you know, you got plenty of room with a picnic table in there. So you got room to put a couple chairs. Yeah. yeah. But she, I was like, man, no, look. I see you don't understand. That thing's hard to put up. You don't have to put it up. I do. <laughs> That's true. I've seen you struggle with it a couple of times. Every time. Yeah. Because I thought the first time, ah, you know, it's tight and, you know, it'll stretch out. It'll, nope, it never got any easier. It's the same, and tearing it down is the same way. Yeah. So, it's this no thing's fun. a this thing's a breeze. I never set one of these up before. Yeah. And it went up pretty quick. Oh, I like it a lot. Yeah, this tent is awesome. I got the, well, what Monkey calls the rain hat. I got the rain fly on, but, yeah, you would be able to see out through there, no problem, that blue mm -hmm. that you see right in here. All the way around there. What the hell is that? Mm -hmm. All the way around there, that blue you see, um, that's that's the rain fly. So, with that off, we'd be looking up, well, we'd be looking at a tree, but, because I didn't want to set it up out there in, in the sun, you know, so... Uh, I think I'm getting low on battery here. Okay, I gotta change my battery, and I'll be back with you guys if something exciting happens. Check this out, guys. The thing is huge. Well, if Monkey seen that when we was walking a little while ago, she would have freaked out. Alright, we're going down the trail, so I'll let you know when we get there. Okay, guys. We're going to take the trail. This is Monkey's idea. She said, you got to take your bike down to the cabin. That's where we're going. We're going to take the trail down to the cabin. So, Hopefully, you guys are seeing everything. Our Whoa! Freaking spider webs, man. <sighs> Jesus. Things are all over the place. Damn it. I should probably keep the stick with me. Whew, that was close. She went back to, I cooked up a pork chop for her mom, so she took it to her. Still a little early yet, but she took it to her. And she's going to charge a couple batteries and uh, make sure her mom gets fed and everything. And then her and Bruno will come back out here after a bit. tree across the road. Damn it. Jesus. Two of them on that web. Damn. What's going on? Why is 
there's so many out now. And they're strong. Them webs are strong. It was moving that tree branch. Damn it. I want to enjoy my... Another one. Just want to enjoy my day. You know? Without things trying to get me all the time. I don't think I can run. I don't think I can hop over this one. This bike's too heavy. Alright. Trying to put a find a place to put my stick. There, I got a place. And I forgot bug spray. Jesus. Might be a bad idea today. Uh. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it, I just ran into one. Jesus. That's crazy. I've seen them, they're them damn banana spiders, those ones that get huge, but these are all, there's some big ones, most of them are little, and by little I mean like the size of a silver dollar, but for that kind of spider they're little, and I just went under one, and there's one right there, shit, I just want to go have fun. I mean, they won't hurt you. I mean, they can't make you sick. But their bites hurt. I mean, you know. I don't even like getting bit by a damn mosquito, let alone a spider. Crap. I just lost my damn stick. Should just bust through here 30 miles an hour and be done with it. There was people walking out of this trail today, so I know. And there was a couple. An older couple on regular bicycles come out of this trail. So that's how quick they build them damn webs. Now find me another stick. Been a while since I've been back in here. Came back here a couple years ago. And I found it, and then me and Monkey came back and hiked it. So I wanted her to see it.
and another log. Jeez. This one's a palm tree. I got mosquitoes flying in my ears. I hate that sound. Man. This is worse than in the middle of the summer. Wow. A lot of bugs out. nice little walk back in here though but I can't walk it and pack it no more like I did that well, the first time I came back here I was still able to do that I can't do it now so here's the deal got a message from my doctor today Sunday called monkey's phone they need me to come in Ugh. hang on Ugh. That one's all over me. God damn it. Anyway. Fuck. Oh, sorry. Anyway. I know he's on me somewhere. Jesus. Uh, I got block carotid carotid artery so they want to do a cat scan damn it that clicking just me adjusting my mirrors Jesus I know he's on me somewhere So yeah, probably have to go get some stents put in. And there's one right there. Damn it. I gotta get another stick. Damn. That's crazy. This could be a video in itself. Oh crap, now I got them damn deer flies on me. Them things bite and they hurt. I didn't think they'd be this bad after that rain we had. So yeah, this was, look at that. Can you guys see that thing? Jesus. Man. Oh. Crazy. Damn it. All right, I gotta go back, guys, because now I got the damn... This deer flies on me. All right, I'm going back. I'll kick you back on when I get out of here. I can't, I can't handle them damn deer flies. They hurt. Now then, after that little fiasco, let's do some fishing. We'll try our luck. 
I didn't bring any bait or anything. I just baited my hook and then came down. Oh, I got a hit. Didn't feel very big, but I did have a hit. That's a good sign. took my bait already. I got, I got some squid on here. Took my bait. I'll be back. Okay, so not sure what's going on there. This battery, if you jiggle it, I don't know I don't know it just it shuts off and then when you try to recover that or it, it don't want to so anyway I went up and got some bait I don't have a net the nets in the truck the trucks with monkey monkeys at the house so but I think I can drag if I catch something big right up through here but I'll have to let you guys know so all right Forgot my bug spray up at the tent or up at the campsite. Alright, I'll let you know if I catch anything. Alright, guys, so I'm getting a hit. Doesn't seem like a very big one, but there's a runner. Fish on. There we go. Alright. Not huge, but hey, we'll take it, right? <laughs> yeah, right on. What we got here? And a mudfish. He's pretty good size, though. Let's see if I can get him without getting without getting bit. I don't know. My pliers are up at the campsite too. And he swallowed the hook. Here I'll show you and then I gotta get I gotta go go out and get my pliers. Pretty cool. About a pound and a half, two pound. All right, I gotta go get my pliers and I'll be right back. That's that's good, we caught a fish. Cool, snake, fish, spiders, and an alligator. All right guys, here we go with cast number three. I just cast my bait off. So sure did. I'll be back. Okay, had to wait on a bunch of air boats. About seven of them just went past. what you got to deal with down here on the river I, I don't understand I mean airboats are, are like built for swamps you know with no water really take them out here and run them on a river just get your regular freaking boat Jesus man that's stupid you know and they're supposed to have them off at 10 o'clock they don't they don't they don't care Meanwhile, you got people trying to camp and fish and enjoy the day without having to hear that stupid crap all day long. Every day, all day. It's just irritating, you know? 
Because we thought about trying to look for a place on the river, but man, that would get old. Every day, all night, that's all you hear. That's all you would hear. Just when the fish were biting good and, you know. And they come along, you know, stirring up the water. Yeah, most of them, they don't even take them in swamps. They, they'll take them out on the lake. Come on. It's, a, it, it's an airboat. You're going to be on the lake. Why not just get your regular boat and enjoy yourself? I mean, you can't talk to, you can't talk to the person you're with. You know, you're wearing those damn headphones and stuff. You can't hear nothing anyone's saying. It's ignorant. All right, well, enough the rant. It's just, you know, man, you know, you're trying to enjoy your day too, but they don't care because they're all that matters, you know? Nobody wants to hear that stuff all day long, every day, especially weekend, all day, one, two o'clock in the morning. Man, I don't want to hear that stuff, man. Boy, Monkey asked me when we bought our last boat when we was looking at boats. She's like, you want an airboat? And I said, hell no, I don't want an airboat, you know. I just don't know how it, it can be that enjoyable riding around on a boat. You got them hot-ass earmuffs on. You can't hear the person you're talking to, you know, you're sitting next to. Nah, nah, I don't want no airboat. I'm just fine with the 68 duo. I think I got a, I think I got a runner here. Stopped. Had a bite, but. Could have been the current. I was acting real strange, but I'm not feeling it. it. Might be a damn turtle. I hope not. Yeah, it was a hit. Must have been kind of small. I'm casting in between two tree branches, a pine tree and a uh, beech tree there. Birch tree, whatever. All right, I'll kick you back on if I catch something else. Okay guys, we're back. I'm done fishing because now I'm cooking some pork chops and some noodles. I thought she would want fried potatoes. She said no, so we just got these noodles. They're nor noodles. Mm -hmm. That wasn't our box, by the way, but we just thought we would use it for trash because just right up the road here is a dumpster. So we're going to take that and put it in the dumpster before we leave, but oh, my fishing pole is down in the water. I wondered where it was. It's down there in the water. You could have a fish on it. I might. I wrapped the line yeah. around a, one of those tree stumps and then put the rod in another tree stump. So. You should check it. All right, we're going to go check it here in a minute. I, I'm kind of cooking right now. All right, and then Bruno made it back. Yep, Bruno's back, Bruno's back. Okay, guys, so we went down and uh, had a fish on. <laughs> I didn't bring the camera, but Monkey brought her, so she's got a video clip of it.
is about the same size as the one I caught earlier. That was another mud fish. So you got Bruno chasing it and stuff. Yeah. When I pulled him out of the water, <laughs> he was chasing. Yeah. So, all right. So, yeah, that's two fish today. So, we saw fish, spiders, a snake, an alligator, monkey saw deer. Mm -hmm. I think she got it on video. Uh, I, I seen her going, oh, deer. <laughs> so, I didn't get it because I didn't have my camera on. So, a lot of wildlife today. So, that's pretty cool. We just ate. Turned out it was pretty good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there's pork chops we got from a butcher. We found a butcher and bought a bunch of meat. They were good. Mm -hmm. Nice and tender, good flavor. So, yeah. Let's fry them up in some butter. It turned out pretty good. I think they're better than Wayne Dixie. <laughs> well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's an update on what's happening here. So, right now we're just chilling. Yeah. Yep. Kick him back. And then she's, she's got to go back to the house. She left some things there to charge. So. Yeah. She thought she would just leave them there and then go back. And she, we're just five minutes from the house in the truck. So. Yeah. yeah. So that's all right. She has to charge her fan up. Yeah. I like my fan. Yeah, she likes her fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so it's midnight, nothing else exciting happened, we didn't really do anything, just kind of hung out. So, I'm going to try to internet spotty in this section. Now, if I would go farther out where we usually go at this campgrounds, then I wouldn't have any problem. But right in this little spot here, in this area where this site is, it's just one bar maybe two at the most depending but you know whatever so i'm gonna try to watch some youtube we'll go to sleep i'll catch you guys in the morning we'll do a tear down of this thing that's going to be in also going to be in the review video so see you guys in the morning unless something funny happens or strange or maybe we can see some wildlife i don't know but if not catch you in the a.m good night everyone Okay, guys, so guess what? Monkey is riding my bike home. No, I'm not riding your bike home. <laughs> no, it's your turn. But my camera's on there. You can use my camera. Ah, uh, no. Damn it. Did he move? No. I guess it, the, the bike's staying. We'll just hook that up to the back of the car. I, I'm not. Nope. Okay, now to take this down, I've just got the doors pulled back to show you guys how easy this floor is to take out. Again, it's just Velcroed around the edges. Then you can take it out, shake it off, you can take it home, hose it off with a garden hose. You can't do that with a regular tent. Now the next step, you just go around any stakes that you put in, that you stake the tent down with or anything like that, go ahead and pull the stakes out. And put them in the bag that was provided to you. A lot of guys will take these off. I always leave my guy, guy lines hooked up because that way I don't lose them. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the rain fly off, which is just hooked in with those little hooks. Just shake it off, fold it up. And this will go in your bag. Now, we're going to take the door frame poles out. Just untie them. Real simple. Give it a little pull and it comes right out. And you do that to all three poles. Now, 
we're going to lay this thing down. The first thing we're going to do is go in the center and pull the center down. Just like that. Now we're going to pop the sides in. We're going to fold it up and roll it up. Just like that. And then roll it up. Now we're going to get our tie that came with it. We're going to tie it up and I'll show you how to put it in the bag. Now we're going to take our strap. We're going to put our strap on. And it just clips into place. It's just got a buckle. Cinch it up, now I'll get the bag, we'll put it in the bag. Now we're going to get our accessories and we're going to put them in the bag as well. And there it is, ready to go back in the car. Okay guys, so, there we go. Come on over, Monk. It's our video now. Uh, yeah, appreciate everyone watching. She's gonna take this. I'm gonna hook up my trailer. She's gotta get the house. I gotta get the house. Yeah. And, uh, got a couple things over there I forgot. Well, you wanna put them in the car? Or yeah, this will yeah. go in the car. Yeah. I'm done filming, so. Oh, okay. So, uh, Monkey's going to, her memory card got full. I don't know how. you got a big memory card. And you're only shooting in 1080. I haven't filled mine up yet. And I'm shooting 4K. Mm. But, um, just uh, clear it next time you go out. Mm -hmm. She's either running out of battery or memory card. So, it's already well over 90s right now. And we're in the shade. Yeah. So... Yeah, we were gonna leave a little bit earlier, but this man that saw us yes, but the, the day the day we came, yeah, Saturday. And, yeah, yeah, he came over here again and he stopped he started by and talking and wanted stuff. to tell us goodbye. And yeah. uh, he just lives right down here at the end of the gate. Yeah. Hell of a nice guy. His yeah. name's Clay. Nice to meet you, Clay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, he he wants to get him one of those um, bike tent trailer camping trailer things that I bought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, he's got an e-bike too, and he's got a little dog rides around the trailer, so. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's got a rescue dog, very nice dog. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, hell of a nice guy, huh? Yeah, yeah. very, yeah, very, very nice. Very nice guy, yeah. so good meeting you, Clay. And to everyone else, thanks for joining. I know it's a long video, but, you know, hopefully you stuck around. And if you're interested in this, you heard the info. <laughs> I like it. It'll also be linked in the in this video as well, guys. So you don't have to go back and try to find it. Right. If you're right. interested in it, I'll put the code and it's it's actually a uh, discount link. When you go to that, that takes you to their discount page, and then right below that, I'll have the discount code. You can copy and paste it right in there. I think it's ten percent, but yeah. This, so pricey. It is a little heavy, huh? I think this will be great. Price. Yeah. It's a little heavy, but again, you know, this is for car camping where you just drag it out of the car and set it up right there. You don't have mm -hmm. to carry it very far. And, and yeah. uh, it, it is hot to tear, well, not tearing down was fine, but zipping it up in there and then I got, had spiders on me. And Yeah, you know. this whole area is really full of spiders right now. Yeah, he's lived here four years and he said it's the worst he's ever seen it. He yeah. started to go down the trail today and gave up. Yeah. Yeah. He said, that was it. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, they're hanging everywhere. All right, guys. So thanks for watching, Monk. Monk says she's out. Bye, y'all. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000. She's, she's
she's got a little different stuff on her video of this camp out so mm -hmm. there was a couple other things we wanted to do she brought a game last night i really wanted to play but and then well it she took a nap in the afternoon and then um then later on in the evening it just i was so tired it's the heat yeah because this thing really made a big difference oh yeah yeah i had i was comfortable and i had my little fan in front yeah and when it ran out i was still comfortable yeah I have yeah. a nice cross ventilation in it. Oh, yeah, that really thing. Really nice. Amazing. Yeah, and they do have a bigger one than this one too, right? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. If you didn't see that video yeah. uh, of this, it they've got a ten and a half, eleven and a half, twelve and a half foot. Yeah. So there's three small or big. Well, the small one's actually pretty big. Yeah. But we got the medium one, so. And this is fine for us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, it, it turned out good, but we was going to do a popcorn pop popping thing, but we'll do that at the house. That's not a big deal. Yeah, it just got in too next long. Couple days. I got I got some more videos right. I got to put out, so um, but we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Gone for now, Monk. Mike, sit out, bye, y'all. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good week.